more about this. Joining us live is the APC governorship candidate in Ayo State, Jesslyn Folarin. Thank you for joining us on TVC News at 10. Let's begin with your assessment of the rally that held earlier today. I think, <clears throat> I think it was well attended. Uh, uh, party paid fools and you know, people generally are tripping out of their businesses, their homes, just to see uh, our presidential candidate, Bola Ahmed Tinovo. Uh, I think it was a success. Chances of your party, the APC, considering your state is being governed by the PDP. Sorry, could you say that again? I'm asking what you consider to be the chances of your party, the APC, considering or your state is presently being governed by... It, it, it's, it's very good. We're, we're, we're very confident. We're, we're very hopeful. Uh, we have been working very hard in the last six months. And Ashwaju Bola Metinubu coming to you today is just... Nice on the cake for us. Uh, as far as we're concerned, he just came to confirm our victory. We should be okay. We'll be, okay. We'll be good. We'll be good. All right. We know at the federal level, uh, the candidate of your party is campaigning on uh, the renewed hope. But for you, as the governorship candidate of the APC, what is your promise to the people of your state? I think to answer the question, you have to, first of all, ask what you think the present government is not doing right. Uh, and for us, we need to take Oyo State to the next level. Uh, and what is the next level? We need to uh, create wealth. We need to expand our economy. It's, it's a poor state, and we have so much potential. Uh, well, what is our strength? Our land is our strength. And so to play to your strength, you have to uh, double big time into agriculture. And so that's what we intend to do. And we don't think this government is doing much. We also need to guarantee the security of lives, of people's lives and property. Uh, and we think once you do that, it would then be very easy for uh, private investors to come and invest in the state. Mm, all right then. And then do you think that the people of Oyo are actually in sync with your vision for them and are willing to uh, give you their support at the polls? I think so. I think so. We're not, we're not greenhorns. You have to understand that we're, we're, we're experienced uh, politicians and we know what we want and it's about communicating with people and explaining to them uh, where you think they should be you see whether we like it or not we need to begin to think differently think outside the box Nigeria as it stands today is not sustainable and that, that, that's, that's, that's the fact of the matter and every state has to begin to think on what you can do to generate more income uh, for yourself. In your state, uh, the size of our land is 28,000, uh, slightly over 28,000 uh, square kilometer. And 84, 85% of that is arable land. So it, it, it makes sense uh, to build your economy around uh, the land. Fortunately for us, we have three crops as we speak that we have comparative advantage, mango, uh, cashew and cassava and so we, 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 we've been thinking you know we've been planning we have a good team we put a good team together to see how we can hit the ground running and the good thing is, is that we've been able to explain to uh, our people because they, they want everyone everybody wants the good things of life our civil servants want to get paid uh, they are monthly salary, their entitlement, <clears throat> the schools, you need to invest 
in education. Uh, you need to invest in health. But at the end of the day, a lot that needs to, money, to be done money, 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 to move money. the economy forward and to make Nigeria work as it actually should. I must sincerely appreciate you for your time on TVC News at 10. Teslim Folari is governorship candidate of the APC in your state. Thank you again. Thank you. Nice talking to you.